Hi, in this video you learn how to do some image cleaning before importing to Mary. Every time you use photo references, it is essential to remove light and shadow information that is baked on the picture. In my opinion, the worst part are the highlights. If you don't remove the highlights, they will look fake, overexposed, or appear in twice. Highlights always have to come from the render. Another issue is that these baked in highlights won't move according to scene lighting and character animation. I always try to get rid of all highlights and shadows when too present. The texture should look as flat as possible. Let's take a look at this example. Here in the right image you can see the raw photo reference. This has baked highlights on the forehead, eyes and nose. On the left side, the same image is cleaned up and ready to be exported into Mary. At first, this may trick your brain, because people are not used to seeing a totally flat human face, but that's exactly what the computer expects. To achieve such a goal, there are two techniques that I like to use. Let me show you. First is taking photos with a polarizing filter. This filter is clipped to the camera lens and suppresses the majority of the highlights and glares on the subject. And here you can see some image samples. This is a very good technique and painting textures using polarizing filters will enhance the final quality of your work. If you zoom in, you can see the image still holds a lot of the high frequency details. Now the second technique is of course doing some, some color treatment inside Photoshop. For this, start by doing a good picture research and keep only the best material you can find. Here's an example. Add a shadows and highlights adjustment and try to, to take out the overall volume of the subject. Now it looks flat. A little bit more. Okay, this is good. Now the brighter highlights, use a small healing brush and clean as much as possible. Be careful not to overdo, or the image will start losing details. Another cool trick I like to do is to create a new layer and start painting regions by selecting an average color. Then you can apply as a darken transfer mode, play with the transparency until it looks right. Now try and fill the image. Here's the before and after. Huge difference. That's it for preparing textures. Until the next lesson. 